Philly for Christmas special day. <laughs> it's the Cassidy and Ellie Christmas special. <laughs> yes. So, come along with us. Oh my god, you like my um, fingerless gloves? We thought we were getting on the train at 1.46 precisely, and it was late. It never, no, it just didn't come. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it, didn't, it actually didn't, didn't come. Well, it doesn't exist. Yeah. It's okay, we made it. Made it? But we made, made it to Philly. Um, barely. walking barely. So here's what happened with the train. Turns it, well, out it didn't exist. we were looking at the wrong schedule, and turns out a train was not coming when we thought it was. We're so around, like this thing is late. <laughs> yeah, it's late. It, it wasn't real. <laughs> it was never coming. So then we had to get an Amtrak train that came like 20 minutes later, but it was fine. But then we get on the train, and there's no seats next to each other, so we had to sit like. <laughs> with we random people shove her dog's face <laughs> yeah. and then some lady had a dog in like a backpack and she just shoved the face back in now we're here city bed. yes and it's gonna be so good it's and cold. yeah it's so cold i want to get a pair of earmuffs hopefully in love, love park in, in love park okay, and said, how far is it from what's it called love city <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the love city and we'll see you there Glossier, so we went to Glossier and got way too much stuff. And then, what did we do? We went to Love City. We went to Love, City. We went to Love Park. Walked around. It's freezing outside. My fingers are so numb. And now we're here waiting for this light show to start. So, that's really the update. It just feels like things are going so wrong. <laughs> Always. Always. <laughs> Anyways, that's Merry the update. Christmas. Merry Christmas. And thank you. Christmas things and then spent the majority of the money um, at a Barnes and Noble and a Glossier. And so yeah, we, we did all of that. Both of which we never planned on. No, but that corner going was into. dangerous. We went to Hip City Veg and then we realized up the road was a Barnes and Noble and then across the street from that was Glossier. 
Hip, those three places took all, all of our money. Oh, Hip City Veg went, took our money twice. We went to Hip City, we went back to Hip City Veg, we, so we were there twice yesterday and Barnes and Noble twice yesterday. Yeah, they were sick of us. They were. Prepare to be sick of me. <laughs> so, we got the same book. We did, because Allie sent me this TikTok about this book, and we decided we're both going to read it, and we're going to do a book club. Just the two of us. Just, yeah, just the two of us. Maybe our other friend, but, well, we don't really know. Bully her into participating. <laughs> yeah. But it's The Appeal. Um, it is an entire murder mystery made up of emails, messages, and letters. And it, people have been talking about it on TikTok. Like, it's literally just emails, texts, and letters. Nothing else. So, like, you're solving the mystery via clues that they're giving you. And it was buy one, get one 50% off. So... And I got my Barnes and Noble cards. Yes. <laughs> we dropped that price real low. They were not happy with us. Those workers were no. not happy. I mean, I'm no. sure like holiday season, they were not into it. It's because we asked for two bags. That's what really did That's it. That's what set him off. Because yeah. he knew, I think it's like, he knew when we were going up to do the buy one, get one 50, and we were both standing there buying the exact same book. Like he knew it wasn't buy one, get one for me. No, no. <laughs> it's, it's also because you put yours up and then I slammed mine right <laughs> down on top. And then he goes, do you want a bag? And like, you're supposed to say no. <laughs> like, when they ask you that, you're supposed to say, like, no, nah, I'm good. I got a tote bag. And I was like, actually, can we have two? <laughs> he, like, sees both of us, like, with other bags. And he's like, yeah. and he went, mm-hmm. <laughs> so then we went to Glossier because we saw it across the street. When your head, like, snapped. <laughs> yeah. You saw that. And you were like, Glossier. And I was like, where? Because it was all, like, white letters on a white building. And I was like, where? And you were like, there. <laughs> and I said, we must go. And we went. Because I've never been to, like, have you? No. That's I've never been to time. a Glossier. I've never I just been to a store. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never. never been to a Glossier store. <laughs> yeah, I just ordered it online. Mm -hmm. And my mom is the one that told me that they were opening one in Philly. And I had no clue where it was. So I didn't think that, like, we would stumble that across corner, that. That little, yeah. like, thing was made for us. Yeah, it also had anthropology, free people, urban, urban but, like, we can't... We were strained. Yeah, we can't go there. That was too far. <laughs> because, well, we spent... Too much in Glossier already. Yeah. That store makes you feel like absolute shit. It makes you feel... In such a weird way. It's such a calming environment. Everything's pastel pinks. It's, like, the messages on the mirror. It's like, you look great. You look lovely. I didn't. I, <laughs> I simply I've, didn't. I have never looked worse in my life. I don't know if it was the lighting or the vibes my however skin was peeling off and like i look in the mirror and i'm like and i didn't look like that when i left the house i, I didn't my th my skin's peeling off my lipstick is gone except for a ring around like, <laughs> around my lips and like red up by my by my nose and she was like um i'm going to get the concealer should I, can I, should I put it on like right now like layering it over like as if that's going to make it better like, yeah. your skin's already dry and peeling off and the makeup's like cracking let's put more on on yeah. top yeah <laughs> the first thing i got was i've been like looking at this um, <laughs> it's funny because i used it so much yesterday and i just bought it but um i was looking at this on the website and um oh i have it, it matches your nails <gasps> Um, but it's the, um, what is it called? Ultra Lip Lipstick in Lucite, and it's just, like, a really pale pink. <laughs> Should I do the... <laughs> <laughs> so... It's a really pale pink. Um, it, like, barely shows up, but it's, like, really hydrating and just, like, a subtle flush. And so I kept, like, putting it on yesterday while we were out, and so she was laughing at me, because, like, every, every ten minutes I was, like... <laughs> but then putting like, it back in the box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to preserve the experience. Like, at this point, like, you can just, just leave it out of the box. Out. <laughs> what really got me looking at the concealer was the fact that my under eyes looked like <laughs> they could just be, like, it looked like I was Scraped. crunched in the face. <laughs> yeah, so, so I started looking at, at this, and I've looked at it on the website before, but I was like, eh, I don't know. It's the stretch concealer, and, like, I'm actually not sure that it's going to do too much for me, because <laughs> I do have some pretty bad dark circles, like, permanently, and this is pretty light coverage. Something about the little pot's so satisfying, but, though. But, yeah, it is, like, super cute. Can you see it? <laughs> Can you see it? The next thing I got was not that exciting. I mean, it is, but um, I've already, like, used it a bunch of times. But I got a new boy brow. Um, I go back and forth all the time because, like, I get it. And then I use it up. Something about it exclusively being online, though, is, like, annoying to me. Because I feel like I can't, like order from Glossier unless I have, like, a substantial amount of things that I want to buy. I'm not going to, like, pay shipping and, like, wait for, like, just this, even mm -hmm. though I love it. Like, I love the boy brow, but I will just go to, like, Ulta and get, like, a ColourPop one as opposed to ordering it just on its own. But we were there in person, so I got boy brow, um, and it's in the, the dark brown shade, and I do, I do love it. So next, I got the Wouder because I'll just show mine, too. That yeah. was the last thing I got. I think we got the same... <laughs> 
Oh, I'm so sorry. So, does that not bother you? Something about that noise um, is, like, so exciting. Not as much as other things. <laughs> other things upset me way more. For me, that's the worst ever. <laughs> that's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I think we got the same shade. Yeah, we got G11. G11. Uh, something about this is, like, so magical. I've seen this on the website, like, a thousand times and just not, like, this is why I think it's, like, cool to have a store. I did not care to, like, order it online. I'm like, I have powders. But we were, <laughs> when you're there, you touch everything. And I literally, like, no, just, like, you touch everything. Me, me in particular. <laughs> and I, like, just out of curiosity, like, rubbed it on the back of my hand, like, touched it and rubbed it on the back of my hands. A, it's so soft. It feels, like, strange, like, strangely soft. And B, like, when I wiped it on the back of my hands, it's, like, all of, like, the dry, like, I don't know, you just have lines on your hands. They, like, went away. And so, like, I already have in my head, yeah, like... Yeah, not on your face. <laughs> I already have in my head, like, and, and it better work, like, an iconic combo. I love, and I, again, this is one of those ones that I don't get all the time because I can't spend the money on it, but the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is, like, top tier oh, for me. Oh, my God, yes. I have that, and it's, like, pores I hardly gone. anything left in it, and mm -hmm. I'm, like... It's so good. Tapping the tiniest amount And on. so now I feel like, because I, I don't have it right now... Um, but I, when I used it, like, I, it was just so good. Now I feel like I need to go get that and then have this on top because I feel like I will look brand new. Powder, sometimes I'm, like, scared of powder because, like, I can't bake because yeah. my skin is, like, it's so dry. It, it gets, like, literally just disgusting right here. I don't even really understand the point in baking. Like, please just put the powder on. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that's, that's right. Be it, be an adult and put the powder on. Put the powder on. on like a normal person. The third thing I saw because I was thinking about how just gross my skin is. <laughs> and I was just thinking about how disgusting I am. <laughs> and I think I just randomly put this on my hand. You put that on your hand and you were like. Yeah, and it did something like crazy. Like around. <laughs> it, oh no. It just did something to you. This is the Future Do. Oil Serum Hybrid. I'm going to be so honest when I tell you that I'm not sure what this is meant to do. Because the lady at the store, I told her I was debating if I wanted to get this or not. And she's like, well, do you have any questions about it? And I was like, not really. I'm just like not <laughs> sure if I want it or not. And she's like, well, I use it before bed. And she's like, and my face feels like amazing. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to wear this before bed. I, I don't know why that. you would. It's like, I mean, yeah, it's a serum and an oil or whatever but it's like shimmery yeah i something see, about that feels wrong like look me. how beautiful this is first of all this is just like like that looks like an icon like it looks like it would give you the same results as like the charlotte tilbury thing that everyone's obsessed with on tiktok like the flawless filter yeah so my that's my reasoning behind why i wouldn't wear it to bed like it feels like the perfect thing to put on your makeup right but bed feels wrong but so that's that's what i got and then the last thing when we were actually in like the Christmas village is the only thing that was purchased in like the Christmas <laughs> section of things. We were in Love Park in their like little Christmas like Wonderland village. And I got these little ladybug earrings. Can you see it? Um, I had, there was a pair of these. I, I only wear like gold jewelry, which probably I shouldn't. I'm very pale. So I don't know why gold's like what I stick to. Um, but I saw them at the beach, like ones like these, like in the summer, but they were only silver and so I didn't get them. But found them in gold in a little little village and so I got them there that village we were haunted by two guys we um, were who were buying jewelry presumably for a girlfriend's last minute Christmas gifts yeah and we couldn't go anywhere and tell them no, about the saga were... of earmuffs oh my god okay I want a pair of earmuffs so bad and also it was freezing yesterday like it was so cold and I was like, you know what would make this just so much better? Earmuffs. And we saw so many pairs of earmuffs, but they were massive. I'm talking And they were like, the same ones everywhere. Like, if you're not familiar with the Christmas Village thing, it's literally like the ones you see in like New York City, like the Bryant Park, like where there's like stalls. Like you walk around the park and there's like stalls of like little shops. And they all had the same it earmuffs. Was the like it was the exact same, same pair of earmuffs. And I don't, I don't. Understand. And they're massive. They took up like the majority of the side of my head it was insane i've never seen earmuffs that big and i just just wasn't doing it for you no i just wanted a normal sized pair of earmuffs and then i looked them up on amazon later and i just think the i don't is, like earmuffs she wants earmuffs so bad and i think she like i don't think i don't think she does like i, I think you want something that doesn't exist yeah i think i need to just keep looking no, I don't think you need to. I think you should stop. <laughs> anyway, that's our haul. Hope you enjoyed our... If only we could have brought the chicken nuggets. The oh, my chicken. God. Yeah. If only if only you guys actually could have experienced what we ate. If you don't have a hip city veg, <laughs> if only you could experience what we ate. If you don't have hip city veg, then... Sorry. Sorry. Sorry to this man. Sorry. Sorry to you. So, thanks for watching. 
We'll take you along probably on the next Philly trip. Yeah, we will. Which, yeah, we'll be next month, so... Let's introduce some new characters. Yeah, yes. Oh, there will be some characters. And we'll see you...